Ladies and gentlemen, I am Smooth Michael Johnson. We are here in East Rutherford, New Jersey, the Garden State. And I'm Randy Cortland. How's everyone today? They can't answer you. Why can't they answer you? Because they're not here. Oh, no. But you know who is here. Looks like the Ripper. The Ripper. Right out of the gate. And then, so we got Ripper tonight and Gary Danger, two favorites of mine. I don't know how to choose. How can I choose, Michael? But who's your favorite? Well, have you ever heard of Sophie's Choice? Sophie's Choice. I have. No. Look it up. It was a movie. I believe it was Meryl Streep. She had two children. She had to choose which one was going to die. That sounds like something my ex-wife would make me watch. Did she like Lifetime? Yeah, she did. All mm-hmm. men are evil. It's Lifetime. Got, got you covered. Speaking of evil men, here's the Ripper. Every man. Now, Randy, you were the one who announced this a couple weeks ago. This is the number one contender tournament for the PWR Championship, which is currently held by Niall Bradbury Mitchell I. And this is the first round matchup between the Ripper and Gary Danger. That's right. And so for whoever wins this, we'll go up against Niall, I believe? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I did put that in the form of a question, but I, I actually do know that. Here they are, Gary oh, Danger and Mitch Bitch. Bucks. And this is the PWR Tag Team Champions, the Hung Bucks. All right. Mitch Bitch has a friend. Buddy and pal. He's and coming to see him off. And we found out earlier today that Gary Danger was entering in this tournament. Well, he tweeted it. Oh. Officially entering in the PWR number one contender tournament, rock and roll will never die, and neither will Gary Danger. NBM1, keep that belt warm. The man can cut a promo, can he, folks? He sure can. Now, there's been a strong rivalry in the past couple of years here with uh, Mr. Gary Danger and, uh, and the Rippers. You can say true? that again, Randy. That's what I, I heard that somewhere. I think I read in the paper. The paper. The Herald. <laughs> and and Gary go. Danger taking it right to the Ripper, picking him up and throwing him down. And you. And you know, the nose. Good way to start your day. Randy, it's really nice. What's really nice? That these two men. Whoa! Whoa Spanish fly! That was a nice. And a moon uh, The Ripper nice. is just doing all kinds of flips today. It's like he went to acrobat class. <laughs> The, uh, Learning something that Lucha Dorbles there. No, oh, the Lucha Dorbles. We'll get into them later, won't we? Because in our main event of the evening, Niall Bradbury Mitchell the first and the Lucha Dorbles are going to go one what? on one, and by one on one I mean three on three, against Goody and a tag team of his choosing. Who's he gonna pick? Who is gonna? Oh, that's right. He's gonna choose something from the backstage there. Well, I would imagine, unless he takes somebody from the crowd. From the crowd, I would hope that would be really cool. That would be pretty How cool. About a father and son act. What? Like, you've never wrestled a little kid? Not recently. Have you? No, no. But like you heard about what happened in Penn State, right? <laughs> <laughs> we are just, just like beating up kids. Fifty or so miles away from Happy Valley here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. The home of Zach Brown. The home of Zach Brown. And there's a statue in his likeness, isn't there, in the um, government there, center, I believe? If there's not, there goddamn should be. Why isn't there one already? Oh, he took out the wrestler. To, I mean, took, uh, he took out the uh, ref. <laughs> that damn wrestler. The, <laughs> the, re- the Ripper just does not have a care in the world. Whoever gets in his way, don't stand in his way, because he'll take you down. And like my friend over here, Randy Cortland, tried to say earlier, the winner of this match... Oh, we got a roll-up! Is the Ripper going to finish him off? Look at this already! No! One, two... Oh, what the... Uh, I guess Was that a shoulder up? Or, oh, I guess he lifted out of it. The, uh... Oh, Ripper kill shot! Oh. That's got to be it! Ripper is, is advancing to the next round! One, two... No, oh, oh, Gary Danger yeah. kicked out! Come on, Gary. The winner of you this match. You got more stamina than that. He can do better. We'll fight next week for the right to fight Niall Bradbury Mitchell the first against the winners of the next match in a battle between Pistol Pete Price and the Boston Massacre. That is going to be one crazy match. Gary Danger looks like he's setting the ripper up for the smooth criminal. Then he Ew. connects. 
and slow down that uh, rip for a little bit there. He was taking charge for a while. And he's got him up in dangerous liaisons. That's going to do it. That, Gary Danger is on his way. On, Gary. One, two. Oh. oh, and the Ripper kicked out. No. I don't know who to choose. Danger I like whipping people. Ripper. And it's a vis oh, Mitch oh, what's Mitch. Going what's that? Mitch Mitch tried to grab the leg of the Ripper. Why? And it's a Ripper kill what's shot. What do, why would he do that? Mitch Mitch. One, two. And that's the it. Ripper. I don't believe this. Mitch Mitch. It looked like he was trying to grab the leg of the Ripper, but instead, the Ripper swung the momentum and threw Gary Danger into the ropes, and Mitch Bitch made a boo-boo. So he grabbed, he grabbed Gary on accident. That's what it looked like to me. Is that what happened? And he spun around right into a Ripper kill shot, and the Ripper oh, is on to the next God. round. <laughs> Randy, we are back, and here is the newest East Coast Champion Pistol Pete Price. Pistol Pete Price. I literally just said that, Randy. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I make my own cue cards and it's like I hear an echo. And it's my own voice. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Repeating you. Hey buddy, here's here's our buddy Soapy Price, in all of his glory, with his well earned. That's right. Last week, at the rise and fall, Pistol Pete Price was finally able to end the reign of the Black Bomb Shell. And here's a man, Randy, that you're very familiar with, the Boston, the Boston Massacre. Massacre. Yeah. This is a whole lot of man coming down the ring right now. It's like a red beast. Is that just a lightning like a, or like a bull? Are bulls red? Red bulls are. <laughs> That's what I'm drinking. This is what's brought to you by Red Bull. <laughs> Thanks for staying awake for 24 hours straight. Wow, is that how long you've been awake for? <laughs> I gotta stop drinking Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> Pistol Pete Price and Boston Massacre. This is a first time matchup. The winner. It's we'll face the Ripper next week. That's for sure. And this is going to be something to see. Because, uh, I, I mean, Pistol Pete. So yeah, I, I, can, I always can never get that name right. But Pistol Pete Price. Call him Triple P. He's, a, he's been our hot startup. He hasn't lost yet. That's right. He's but got an undefeated streak coming into this. Definitely. But, I, you know, Boston Massacre, you know, he's he's got the strength for Pistol Pete. And he's got the size, so you know this is really going to be interesting to watch tonight. What do you think, uh, Mike? What do you, who do you think's going to win this one? Well, I gotta go with the man who's on the hot streak, and that's Pistol Pete Price. You never, when you're at the blackjack table, when you're hot, you don't fold. You go all in, whether you have sixes or twos. Absolutely. And I have to say, I mean, I put all my money on Pistol Pete, so. I should have said that out loud right now. You're gambling on this match? No, I in shells. What? Clam shells. You ever see the Flintstones? Yes. Yes, no. Oh, oh it almost was. Pistol Pete Price trying to steal one from the Boston Massacre. The Boston Massacre has been in some of the biggest matches of PWR slash FHB history. And a frog splash from Pistol Pete Price. It's one of our biggest and heaviest contenders. You know what, though? I got to tell you, this might be the best-looking matchup we've ever had in <laughs> PWR. You got the Honkasaurus Rex in Boston Massacre mm -hmm. versus Mr. Dreamboat himself, Pistol Pete Price. And Pete, I know you're listening. I know you watch every week, and you're a listener. just want to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a little love note. That was kind of cute. You know... Randy, you put a good-looking man in front of my face, and you don't have to, uh, just can't you don't have to ask twice. <laughs> I cannot control you. And meanwhile, Boston Massacre is taking it to Pistol Pete Price. He's on the comeback trail. Well, Pistol Pete's going to win this one. He's not going to take it easy, that's for sure. What does that mean? Oh, he's not going to take it that, that quick. <laughs> I've seen a lot of his matches, and he just it's over in a couple of minutes. But this guy, nah. I'm going to make it more for it. Boston Massacre. 
Laying down. Oh, beat. he caught him oh, in the air. That's a stop. And a and giant a choke. choke slam. It looked like Pistol Pete was nice going for that slam. patented uh, swanton bob. And that could be over, that, Randy. That might be it. Two. Oh, Pistol Pete with the kick out. We almost had his first loss in PWR. Yeah. Meanwhile, Boston Massacre going to work. No. Pistol Pete flips out of it. It's a little kick, to the, kick to the face. Ooh. Pistol Pete is a man who loves to kick. If he was on, uh, what is that called, cabaret? <laughs> I did see him in the Rockets in New York last year. He was really beautiful. Oh, it was oh. that scorpion death drop. And he's pulling him to the middle of the ring. He's, uh, he's a lot Pete's wiser. Back on the ropes now. Oh. Oh, there's a swanton bomb. That's, That's going to be it, Randy. Two, three. That is done. Pistol Pete Price is Once advancing again. to the final round of the number one contenders tournament. Randy, you know what that means? He that means the belt? Well, yeah, he keeps the belt, too. <laughs> but next week, we have the Ripper versus Pistol Pete oh, Price. Oh, yeah. Another first-time matchup you can only see here in the PWR. Stay tuned. Here comes the champ, dressed in fancy threads. Here comes the champ that dropped Goody dead. Ah, ha, ha. It is Captain Cute, Niall Bradbury Mitchell the first, and officially the new. Pro Wrestling Revolver Heavyweight Champion of the World. And I told you I'd do it. Not quite on my own, I guess. But that's why they call me Senor Adorable. And we'll get to that at another time. And I know you're wondering once again, well, where's the belt? Where is it? Well, Goody got his filthy, stinky hands all over the belt during the ladder match as he was rising to the top of the gallows, trying to take back what was once his but truly belonged to me. And then he somehow got his hands and his fingers and his Cheeto dust hands were all over my precious belt. And then he fell down to the ground. And now, once again, I have to get my guy in Providence to sanitize and clear my championship belt of all the germs and dust and garbage that came off of the fingers of Goody. But that is neither here nor there. What is most important is that I have rightfully taken my place at the top of the food chain. Niall Bradbury Mitchell the first is the best to ever lace them up. Randy, that was your new Pro Wrestling Revolver Champion, Niall Bradbury Mitchell the first. And I gotta say, he acknowledged the fact that he didn't do it on his own. Yeah, that was quite a promo there by Mr. Spiffy himself. Quite nice in those clothes, I have to say. What, are you hitting on him? Yeah, I think I am. <laughs> Can't control myself anymore. Oh, look at that. And of course I want this. I don't know. What do you think, Michael? Do you think he won that fair and square? I mean, it's obvious he didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all saw that last week. <laughs> That's right. As he stated, Goody had his hands on the belt. He was going to retain the championship, his own championship. And then here are these two Mexicans. <laughs> the Looch. These two Mexicans. Luchadorables. They came down to the ring and they pushed Goody off the ladder. 
and they beat him up a little bit. These little senors of slapdown <laughs> came downtown and literally left Goody hanging from our ladder match last week. But here he is, the former champ, the two-time champ, Goody. Goody does not give up. He is the only man to have held the belt twice. And if he's got anything to say about it, he'll be the only man to hold it three times. That's for sure. So who did he pick, Michael? Well, I think we'll find out in just a matter of moments. Who do you who what are your betting odds? You think he went with the tag team champions, Gary Danger and Mitch Bitch? Yeah, I, I, that would be my first choice. Gary Danger and Mitch Bitch both have history with Niall Bradbury Mitch the first. That's for sure. Here we go. Who is it going to be? Who it is. I'm just excited. Too excited. Oh, my Who's God, Randy! Page? Who is it? That's the Filthy Animals music. It's the Filthy Animals. Cutting Boy and Joey L have yes. teamed up with the former PWR champion, Goody. Two of the biggest and best, the Filthy Animals. Good guys unite. There is a whole lot of meat on that team. <laughs> You ever been to a butcher shop? I sure have. <laughs> Cut me off a slab or cutty boy. What are you talking about? Is it because his name is Boy? Is that why? No, yeah, I like cutting. And boas. They're my favorite boas in the world. Once Red again, Once again, we are very far away from Happy Valley tonight. <laughs> As Joey L. These two, Goody and... Cutting Boy on the same team, that just oozes charisma. This is great. You ever seen Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze? No, I think I avoided that one. That was a good movie. I recommend you oh. rent it. And look at Goody taking it right to Niall Bradbury Mitchell the first. That's our PWR champion. He's oh, not he's my champion. He's some serious revenge. He looks a little... This looks personal. Oh, you better believe it's personal. If somebody stole your belt, wouldn't you make it personal? He's just choking him out right now. Oh! That's almost 400 pounds! Oh my god. I would just want to go home right after that, Mike. That's a whole lot of goody. That's a whole lot of goody. <laughs> See, I just did what you do. <laughs> <laughs> See, you learned from the best, Michael, and this is why we're here. There's no doubt you're the best, Randy. That's yeah, for certain. And these are two of the best in the ring right now. Niall Brabber, Mitchell, and Goody. And Niles looking to tag out. And here comes Martinez. And a boot to the face. Oh. That's some nifty double team in maneuvering. I see action. some high wire action right now because luchador balls are just completely unconventional. If you're from the States. That, if you're from the States, that's for sure. So watching their style is really unique. Really fun to watch. Right now, it just looks like just nothing but abuse to Goody. So this is completely outright great. Oh, my God. Now everyone's involved. And Joey L making the save for Goody. Goody's been attacked by about three different variations of Mexicans in this match. <laughs> it's like, kind of like the Alamo right now. <laughs> no one ever won the Alamo. I think somebody did. John Wayne, possibly. I think John Wayne did win. And Goody setting him up for the Goody's edge. And he throws him halfway back to Mexico. He says El Slamo. <laughs> and That's the referee not counting. Know. One. Pedro comes in and makes the save for his partner. And now Joey L getting on, the tag Joey in. L. Let's see what he can do. He goes right he for the pin. He just goes straight for the pin. He's like, I'm not even going to bother. One. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to happen. Goody, stop Goody. Um, that's, that's Joey L. Kicking Martinez in the shoulder and going for the pin again. Pedro with another save. Now Joey L's now had, Joey's had enough time from that Spanish fly. <laughs> and now he goes to work on the Ooh. skull. Joey L set him up for some kind of suplex. Say what you want about Joey L, but I mean, he's got some serious moves out there, and he may be small in stature, but I would never want to wrestle him. What he makes up for in height, he makes up with 
enthusiasm? Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> Joey L tagging in his tag partner, yeah, on, Cutting, Cutting Boy. Boy. There we go. Yeah, we oh, to the ref of one. Oh, oh, double shoulder tackle, and Cutting Boy going for the pin. This might do it. Is that going to be enough? I don't know. Nile with the save, just barely. That's a whole lot of meat flying at you. <laughs> and now look at Niall Bradbury Mitchell and Cutting Boy. Ooh. One on one. What a matchup that would be, huh? That would be crazy. And Cutting Boy uh, wants more of Niall Bradbury Mitchell. He uh, wants more of the champ. And he goes to work on Martinez. I thought I was going after Niall for a minute. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what's going on here now? Oh, goody. Now, they both have masks on. I always forget the two. We have Pedro. Martinez, and that's Pedro. Okay. Pedro is in the ring right now. That's Pedro. Goody checking out. Bringing in Joey L. Let's see what Goody's going to do over here. Oh, he took out the ref. It was like he was blowing him down the alley there. Uh-uh-uh, he says. Oh! There's some of those unique maneuvers there. That's right. Pedro's showing off. Now Pedro going to work on the arm. He figures if he can break that arm, Joey L won't be able to punch him anymore. I tried that on my dad once. It didn't work. <laughs> I said, boy, I still have the good arm. <laughs> <laughs> what a fresh one. Now you have got to imagine that at some point the Lucha Dorables and Filthy Animals are going to have to hook up for a chance at the tag team titles. That, that would be a great little matchup. And we get to see a little preview right here. What that might look like. And Joey right now, L. Joey L setting him up for something big. Looks here. like he's going for something off the top rope. And it is a double underhook soup. Whoa, That's what whoa, I'm whoa. The amount of pain that is driving yeah. through on that Mexican back right now. Ouch, ouch. This might do it. One, two. And somehow, Pedro is able to kick out. They're both going after Pedro. Pedro. What's Cutting Boy setting him up for? Looks oh. like a choke slam. Here we go. Sending him straight back to Mexico, right through the wall. One. Good night, two. Irene. How the Almost hell did three. Pedro kick out of that? Serious power. Cutting Boy and Goody working together very well as a team. Pedro with the quick maneuver. And what the f What the wheel? I got dizzy over that one. You got dizzy. <laughs> That's how Cutting Boy feels. <laughs> and now he just Pedro walks it off. whipping Cutting Boy into the turnbuckle. Days. Oh, oh, look at the strength of Pedro to pick him up and put him on that top turnbuckle. <laughs> what does he guy. have in mind? Whoa, oh my God, a German what suplex! Was that? that was cool, whatever that was. And now, Ooh. something out of Rey Mysterio's playbook. And he tags in the world champion. Here comes our champion. And what is he going to do to Cutting Boy? A punch, oh. but it's blocked. Oh. And Cutting Boy picks him right up by the throat and slams him down. Nice big choke slam. And then he picks up Niall Bradbury Mitchell the first again. Niall's not doing much out there today. I don't know what's going on. Looks like he Actually wants he to is. make the tag, oh. and Niall kicks him in the face. Oh, what a that one! What a two. snap suplex! Cutting boy able to weasel his way out. Now I've never seen Nile do that before. Neither have I. That was pretty cool. Oh, oh. oh. Nile Bradbury Mitchell trying to bust out the athleticism tonight. Yeah. And Cutting Boy is tagging in Joey L, trying to get the fresh competitor in there. Look at the Whoa. athleticism! Looked like he jumped on the top rope and flew out of that one. Captain Flu Albino. <laughs> and Joey L with a knee to the face and a clothesline to put the champ down. I don't know. I don't think that's going to be one, enough. One, two. 
And Nile uh, kicks out. I think so. Nile's like got Niles Joey L right where he here. wants him. Is he going to hit it? He's setting him up for the yeah. Providence pile driver. Oh! <laughs> and that might be it. That might do it. Two. Oh, oh, and Joey L was able to kick out of that. What a matchup this has been, Randy. I mean, the matchup has been Randy, but I meant... It's, it, am I in there? Might as well be. I Whoa, want, I want a wrestle too. Buster. I'm tired of sitting back and watching. We'll but I love to be ringside. And here's Martinez. He's back into the mix. Picks up Joey L. Now he whips him in the turnbuckle. I think Martinez is going to get a little revenge for Pedro. And, uh, no. Oh. Meanwhile, Joey L is busted open. He said he was bad already. That's now a nice bat battle suplex. damage. It's a nice little gusher Joey L has there. Whipped into the corner. And a clothesline to Martinez. He looks like he is out. It's like it just made Joey a little angrier. Joey back into the turnbuckle. There's a kick for his yeah. trouble. <laughs> and these two are just going back hit. and forth. And now he's got him up over the shoulder. And here comes Pedro. And that's the Great Wall of Mexico driver. That might be it. That might do it. Well, yeah, yeah, the Lucha Dorables. The Lucha Dorables and Niall Bradbury and Mitchell say you're cute. I don't know if I agree with that fight, but at least it was a fair fight. It was as fair as it's going to be with those three oh. wet backs. <laughs> that. What that a was matchup. A great, crazy little match. I like that one. You had everything Lucha you could Dorables. want. You had a world champion. Yet a former two-time world champion. You have four of the best up-and-coming wrestlers on the planet. Tie him up, a put a bow on man. him. And there it was, the Great Wall of Mexico driver. Put in cheat, putting Joey L out for the count. I took it home. And look at those Lucha two doing just flips. Flipping out of, I love watching them. Niall Bradbury Mitchell the first has got to be happy with what he saw out of the Lucha Dorables tonight. And next week, the Ripper versus Pistol Pete Price, the winner will have a chance at Niall Bradbury Mitchell the first World Championship. Randy, can you wait? I cannot wait. I cannot look forward to it until I'm there. <laughs> I don't know what that, was. that doesn't make sense. <laughs>